morning. Today is Tuesday. Today's a little bit different. Today's not a car ride. Today's a car park. I'm parking right now. And one of the reasons why I'm parking is because today's a little different than the other days. And I'm going to try to explain to you why I feel like today's a little different. On Sunday, Palm Sunday, we celebrated Christ's triumphal entry into Jerusalem. Man, that's exciting. People were shouting Hosanna. They were throwing their palms before him and their cloaks. And they were treating him as a king. Like they recognized him as the Messiah. On Monday, he goes back into Jerusalem. Remember, as he's going to Jerusalem, he curses that fig tree. That's going to be real important. But as he goes back into Jerusalem, man, he's tearing through the temple. And he's he's throwing out things that don't need to be there. And he's cleansing the temple and saying that what it should be. And then Tuesday's today. And Jesus is going back from Bethany. He's going back to Jerusalem again. And in Matthew 21 and, and Mark 11, we see the account that they pass by the fig tree again. And all of a sudden, not all of a sudden, but the disciples look at the fig tree again. They see that the fig tree is completely withered at the roots. Like it's, it's gone. It's dead. The one fig tree, here's the story yesterday. You know, Jesus was going, he was hungry. He's going to Jerusalem. He was, he was wanting something to eat. And he looked over and he saw this fig tree and this fig tree had all these leaves. I mean, it was luscious. It was, it was, it was ready to, to be picking some fruit from. And he goes over and he looks there. And there's no fruit. It has all the lookings that it should have fruit, but it has absolutely no fruit. So Jesus curses the fig tree. And sometimes we glaze over that as, as, okay, Jesus cursed the fig tree. What a miracle. But so much more than that. Jesus is basically painting a picture for us, for me, for you, for our children, for everybody who reads God's word, to see exactly what's happening. Jesus is going to Jerusalem two days before Passover, two days before he's about to be crucified on a cross and he's going to to save us and so thursday's approaching which means i feel like there's a heaviness and more of a weight today um and because it's reminding me of my sin and why jesus had to go to the cross in the first place and so i'm thinking about the fig tree and i'm thinking about the picture that the fig tree represents the fig tree represents the nation of israel it should have all the fruit on it it has all the leaves, it has all the lookings that it should be God's people. I mean, it's the nation of Israel. It should be that, but it's not. They have no fruit. They're going through religious activity, but they have no fruit. And y'all, here's the message. Even though you might have all the lookings of looking like God's people, if you don't have a relationship with the Father, you'll be judged. Let me say that one more time. If you don't have a relationship with the Father, you will be judged. Wither. People don't like to talk about the judgment of God, but it's a very true thing. And the point is, is that the reason why Jesus is coming to Jerusalem is so that we can have a relationship with the Father. So that we can be connected to the Father at the root, the base. And that, that connection to the Father will help us produce the fruits, the glory of God, the, the image of Christ in our lives. And the only way for us to be connected to the Father is through the Son, Jesus. The only way for us to be connected to the Father is through the Son, Jesus, which is why he's going to Jerusalem to defeat death and sin and to take the punishment and the wrath that we deserve. That's the only way that we're connected to the Father. So when I'm looking at this victory, all I can think about is asking myself this question, Chris, what's your life look like? Are you producing fruit? Are you going through motions? Do you have a relationship with Jesus that connects you to the Father? Are you just trying to trying to earn your way to God? Are you just trying to go through religion and, and rituals to get to God? And that's not how it works. And here's the thing with all of us, everybody, is that you can go to church. You can serve in church. You can serve in children's ministry. You can do all these things and still not be producing fruit the spirit because you don't have the spirit because you don't have jesus which means you don't have a relationship with the father so i'm begging you on this tuesday to look at your life and to say how am i connected to the father is it through the son jesus do i have a saving relationship with jesus or not and it's, is my life producing the fruits of the spirit because the holy spirit reds eyes in me because i know and love and have a relationship with jesus who connects me to the father is that your life? Is that where you are? Because the picture is clear. Jesus came to connect us to the Father. 
And if you're not believing in Jesus, if you don't know Jesus in a saving relationship way, you'll be judged. And the picture is unbelievably clear. Jesus comes to save us so that we have a relationship with the Father. The question is, do you have a relationship with the Father? Part two will be coming later today.